How to sell your domain names with Namecheap? Let's get started. What's up everybody, my name is David. I hope you're having a great day. So Namecheap is my preferred domain name register of choice. It's where I get all my domain names from. Now selling your domain names at Namecheap is simple enough and in my opinion, you have two options. Option number one is to use Namecheap's internal marketplace and getting set up with that marketplace is simple enough if you already have a Namecheap account. Option number two is to list your domain name that's at Namecheap on another marketplace. Both ways of selling your domain name are simple enough and I'm gonna walk you through the process of how to do each. So like always, make sure to check the links in the description for timestamps and resources mentioned in this video. So let's begin. Welcome to my laptop. Let's begin. So this is namecheap.com. This is my preferred domain name register of choice. Now to get a domain name is very simple. You have the search bar right here. Input the domain name that you want to register, then click on search. Okay, so I have my super amazing website.com. Let's go ahead and click on search. Then it's going to take us to another page, which will tell us if this domain name is available or not. So, yep, it's available. We got the little check mark right there. So you can just click on add to cart. Now, if it's not available, then you have to click up top here and then type in a different word combination. until you find something that is available. Now, down here, you have suggested results. And then over here, you have auctions. So these are domain names that are available for sale. Then handshake is the handshake protocol, which is like a peer to peer protocol. Then generator is a tool that allows you to generate domain name ideas. And then beast mode over here allows you to enter up to 5,000 keywords. Again, this is for domainers who want to register a bunch of domain names all at once. Anyways, let's navigate back to the domain tab. When you're ready, click on add it to carts. Fantastic. So now you have a bunch of different upsells right over here. In my opinion, you can just ignore all of these and then click on checkout right down there in the right hand corner. Then you're on the shopping carts page. So you have your domain name registration up here. You can register your domain name for up to 10 years in advance. And then you have domain privacy, which is free forever. Domain privacy is very important. So part of ICANN rules, whenever you register a domain name, you have to enter in your legal name, address, phone number, email, like a lot of personal information. Domain privacy keeps all of that information private. Anyways, when you're ready to continue, click on confirm order, and then you'll be directed to the checkout page. So when you're ready, purchase your domain name. Selling your domain names within the Namecheap marketplace. All right, so log into your Namecheap account, click on your dashboard, then you're going to see your domain name list over here. Now, I wanna sell vloghow.com, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on manage over here, then it's going to direct you to your domain control panel. Now, you wanna scroll down to where you see other domain settings. Now, over here, you can sell a domain name, list a domain name on the marketplace, simple as that. So then you just click on the sell domain button and it's going to take you to this page over here. So you can sell your domain name right here and you can list the information as needed. So the asking price, the list period can be seven days up to 90 days. And if it's an adult listing, you also have to indicate that as well. How much to ask for your domain name? So under listing information, the asking price right there, you can input whatever you want. If you want to ask for like $50,000 for your domain name, you can go ahead and do that. But if you actually want to sell your domain name, then you do need to price it within reason. So step one of doing that is to use a domain value appraisal tool. So I like this tool from GoDaddy, which is found at godaddy.com slash domain slash value slash appraisals. All right, so let's go ahead and enter in vloghow.com to see how much this is worth. And it's going to give us an idea over here. And there we go. So it's telling me to sell it for $962. So looks good. I like that price. Anyways, you don't want to just stop there. You also want to take a look to see how much domain names of a similar type have sold for. So you can get that information over here at name bio search domain name sales, 5.9 million sales, totaling $2.9 billion. Crazy. Anyway, so under here with the advanced search, you can put in the focus keyword for your domain name. So vlogout.com obviously would be vlog and you have granular control as well. If you want to input additional information. So like the placement, that means like, where's the domain name? Is it at the front, back, middle extension.com.net, whatever. I personally just like to input the primary keyword and just give me a bunch of results related to like the keyword. So that's vlog over here. So let's take a quick look. So vlog nerd over here sold for $268. Let's open up that really quick. So vlognerd.com sold for $268 at the Namecheap marketplace. Then we have Texas Vlog, TX Vlog sold for 
$1,703 at drop catch. And then we have vlog.us, which sold for a respective $106. So you want to take this information over here and the appraisal tool and use your professional judgment to come up with a reasonable price point to list your domain name. Now it's not set in stone, so you can set it for like 90 days. If it doesn't sell in 90 days, you can relist it again for a different price point. Anyways, when you're ready to list your domain name, just fill out the required information. So your asking price, the list period, if it's an adult listing or not, send me an email when this domain name is successfully sold, and then click on the sell domain button. Once you do that, you'll get a little pop-up saying your listing has been successfully added to the marketplace. And then within the domain control panel under other domain settings, you're going to notice that sell button has been changed to an edit button. Now, if you want to click on the edit button over there, it just takes you back to the page you were at over here. Now, if you want to cancel this listing altogether for some reason, no problem. You just click the little drop down over here. No, you don't click cancel right there. If you click on cancel here, it's going to direct you back to your domain control panel. To cancel the listing, you click this little drop down, then you click on cancel right there. Then it's going to prompt you to enter your name cheap password, and then it cancels your listing immediately. All right, everyone, that's it for how to sell your domain names at Namecheap. The process is incredibly easy. Now, the downside of doing it this way is that you only have exposure to the Namecheap marketplace. To be honest, there's a ton of different marketplaces where you can sell your domain name. So if you want greater exposure, you want your domain name on as many marketplaces as possible. So the service that I always use to sell domain names is called Afternick. Afternick is a service that is owned and operated by GoDaddy. Now, you don't need to have your domain names at GoDaddy to list them on Afternick. You can absolutely have your domain names at Namecheap and still list them on Afternick. So I'm gonna walk you through the process on how to do exactly that, so let's begin. Welcome to afternick.com. So this is my go-to spot for selling domain names. They're the world's premier domain marketplace. So the advantage of Afternick is again, they'll list your domain across a wide range of platforms so you have a higher chance of actually selling your domain name. All right, so to get started is very simple. So you click on the sign in button up top there and you have two options, either option one, you create an after Nick account right here or option two, you can click on sign in and then you can sign in with your GoDaddy account if you already have a GoDaddy account. So I have a GoDaddy account, so I'm gonna sign in with my GoDaddy accounts. Okay, so this is your after Nick dashboard. So let's go ahead and sell our domain name. Over here in the left hand sidebar, you see portfolio, click on it to expand it and then click on add domains. On the next page, you can just type out the domain name that you want to sell. So just type out vlogcow.com. You can also copy and paste in a list of domain names or upload an Excel file, whatever. Anyways, I got vlogcow.com right there. Let's go ahead and click on next. And now we have to go through the process of listing the domain name for sale. So there's a few things that we do need to do. So we have the estimated value right there. We're gonna click that button and it's coming up as $962. Now, the buy now price. What price can someone buy this domain name right now without any negotiation? That's what this buy now price is. So we'll click over here. I'm gonna set that at $897. All right, now we have floor price and a minimum offer. So these are two things that are used in different ways. So the floor price, this is the minimum amount you're willing to sell this price. So if a broker negotiates a price at or above the floor price, the sale will just happen automatically without anyone having to contact you. So I'm gonna put in over here, we'll put in 597, okay? So that means that if someone's negotiating with this domain, for this domain, and they make an offer of like $600, it'll just sell automatically. But if they come to me and they're like, hey, I wanna buy this domain name, but I wanna buy it for 397, well, then they'll have to go to me. I'll be contacted, be like, hey, there's an offer on this domain for $397. Do you accept? Yes or no? So the floor price just means like, hey, if it's above this price, we're just going to sell domain name on your behalf automatically. And then minimum offer is just like, what's the minimum offer to begin the negotiation process? So if someone's silly, like, hey, $8, then it's like, just go away. I don't even, I'm, we're not even going to talk to you. But if someone's like, hey, uh, like you, you, it's just for like serious buyers. So if I set this to be like $97, someone has to come in with at least $97 offer to begin the negotiation process. Then they'll begin the negotiation process from this point from 97 and then obviously try and get more for it. And again, if it's below the floor price, like, okay, start at 97. No, 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 we'll sell for 197 Then contact me. See if I want to sell for 197 <laughs> that type of thing. So 
Anyways, the minimum offer, the floor price, buy it now price, these are important. Okay, now we have the sale lander over here. So I'm gonna change this. I personally like the buy it now page, and that's the one that I use over here for the magic store. So it comes up as premium, verified domain, the magic store, and then this is the price point that the user can buy it right now. I personally like this one, so that's what I'm gonna use. So we'll click on yes, update over here. And that is it. Now, this banner at the top that you see right here, when using after nickname servers, the commission rate will be reduced from 25% to 15%. So that's benefit one about why you want to point to after Nick. So you need to go to Namecheap, update your name servers and point to after Nick. I highly recommend doing that because one, you get a better commission rate, but two, you get a bunch of different benefits on the back end. So the main benefits are two. One, you get opt-in to fast transfer over here. So fast transfer means that when someone buys the domain name, it's immediately released from your account and sent to the person who bought it. No nonsense, done quick and easy. Then you can also add in a sales landing page when you have the uh, DNS settings pointing to after Nick. So that's why it's important to do this. And again, 25% to 15%, you get you make more money. <laughs> you keep more of the money of the sale. Anyways, when you set everything up, it looks good. Click over here to submit. Fantastic. So we've successfully submitted our domain name for listing. Now there's one additional thing that we need to do over here, and that's update the name servers and point to after Nick. So NS1 after Nick and NS2 after Nick. Again, because you get the for sale lander, you reduce the commission rate, fast transfer, all those specific benefits that I listed out before. That's why you want to update this over here. All right, so navigate to Namecheap and then log into your account. Go to your dashboard, then find your domain name and then click on the manage button over there. It'll take you to this page. So it'll be under the domain tab. Then you want to change the name servers over here to custom DNS. So it's probably Namecheap basic DNS. You want to change it to custom DNS. Then you have name server one and name server two. All right, so let's go ahead and copy and paste this in. So we got NS1 after Nick. So pop that in right there. And then we also need NS2. So we'll just add, change this one to a two. And there we go. Now click on the little green check mark right there. And it's as simple as that. So it says DNS server updates may take up to 48 hours to take effect. So it does take time for propagation. So be patient. It's not instantaneous, but it could take like an hour, two hours a day for full propagation. But anyways, that's all you have to do. So now you've listed your domain name for sale and you've updated the name server. So you are good to go. And to wrap this tutorial up, just a few little details. So it says you can safely move away from this page. Your submitted entry will continue processing in the background. So once you submit everything, it goes through a quick review process and also takes time for the DNS settings to propagate as well. Now, sometimes it's really fast. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time. I can't control that. You may also get an email asking you to verify ownership over the domain name. So whatever email that you put in when you are registering the domain name at Namecheap, that's the email that they're going to contact if they contact you. Honestly, I just listed Vlogow and within five minutes, it's already listed. So usually it's very quick, painless process to list your domain name over here with after Nick. Now, an additional thing that you need to do is you do need to set up payment information on the back end. So you need to set up your tax information over here and then you need to set up a payee account. So payment setup. Great, your domain name sells. Where does that money go? Typically, you're gonna set up direct deposit or you're gonna set up PayPal. I personally like PayPal, totally up to you. Then you also have the option to set up a payment account for domain parking if you want to do that. And finally, we have After Nick Boost. So underneath your settings tab right there, you'll have After Nick Boost. By default, you're on the Boost plan, which is the standard commission plus an additional 5%. You can downgrade your account and save 5% on sales of your domain name. But what do you get for this additional 5%? Well, Boost can contribute to a 10% increase in sales performance for your portfolio. You can reach a bunch of different buyers through GoDaddy's email marketing campaigns elevated placement in GoDaddy search and GoDaddy verified checkmark on fast transfer domains. So in my opinion, it is worth keeping after Nick Boost, but again, it's your call. Anyways, that is it for this tutorial. 
Okay, everyone, that's it for this tutorial video on how to sell your domain names at Namecheap. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe and hit that like button. My name is David. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.